Hey, Annie. Hey, Rachel. Chancy. Hi, guys. Thank you. Happy Monday. Thank you for being here. Um, today we have an artist on that I actually met through Instagram. And um, she is somebody that I, I admire her page, her work. She um, is a pro educator um, for Babilis. And um, she did a look, um, the look that we're gonna do today. And I came across it. Hi, Kim from London. Hello, everybody. Thank you for jumping on here on a Monday. You know, I just love our virtual one-on-ones. And today I'm super excited because today we're doing a braided look um, of a double infinity that, a Dutch double infinity. I mean, I've seen it around. I saw um, Ajawa do it and um, I just thought it would be super cool. It actually did really well when I featured it on Beyond the Ponytail. I thought it'd be really cool to kind of get something on here that was more of a braided look just to push our boundaries for braiding. So I'm so excited to do this because you know I love doing these advanced braids. So we just want to say hi to everybody. Um, we're going to get Ajawa on here in just a second. Hello, Kim. Oh, cool, you guys. So excited. Okay. If you have any questions, I hope you guys have your mannequins ready. That again, this is going to be a braided look, so it's gonna. I can't wait to actually dive in and see how challenging this one is. But I am just so happy to have um, Ajwa on here, and I'm gonna invite her on so we can get started. Let's see her. Hey, hello, Jocelyn. Everyone's on here. I'm so excited. Hi, beautiful. Oh, Hi, hey. how are you? <laughs> I'm so excited that you're finally on here. I remember when I saw this braid um, that you did, and I was like, oh, that like totally stopped me in my scroll. And I, um, so I went and I checked out your page, and I was super impressed. You're a platform educator for Babilis. Your work is beautiful. Even further down your feed, because I stayed on your feed for a while. <laughs> I was just falling in love with all of those styles. They had kind of like a 70s flair to them. Yeah. I was like, girl, I got to get her on, at least reach out to her and have her come on, welcome you to our community and also have you teach this look with us because I am a sucker for an infinity braid. And so I'm a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a total sucker for this braid. So I, um, I want to thank you for your time, and I want to thank you for jumping on here and um, having and teaching us this look. Thank you so much, and I tell you, I'm just, I'm just super excited. I feel like you're my, my new old friend. You know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. We like we yeah. you and I talked on the phone, and I just felt an instant connection. You're so sweet. Um, and so, um, yeah, exactly. I felt like there was this, this instant friendship and we had been friends for years. And I think it's because we've been in the industry for a while and we're both educators. Yes. So there's just this, this, this world that we live in. And so there's an instant connection. So I appreciate you and, and what it takes to be a platform artist because it's a lot and you do it really well. Thank you so much. And just, just like what you said, I just feel like we just have that, that common denominator, you know, when it comes to the love for the industry and just being able to share um, what we, what, you know, what we have to give. I don't really look at it like, um, oh, I'm going to teach you. No, I'm going to share with you. You know, awesome. because we all can learn from each other. So exactly. I'm uh, super excited to share with you guys this okay. uh, brain technique. Just like you, I love, um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of braids. So yeah. that's just one of the things that I just fell in love with uh, because there's so much in the industry. So being able to like just kind of narrow things down, yeah. braids is just my thing. So i um, super excited to jump into that. Now, the first thing I wanted to, to kind of go over when it comes to uh, styling hair, and this is something that took me a while to come into because I was always so anxious on just learning the technique. Like, just show me the technique. And, and I would find myself doing the techniques and then wondering why the look didn't, the finish didn't come out as polished or as clean as I would like it, yeah. you know? 
So before I jump into it, I just want to spend like maybe a minute and a half on just talking about why I feel like it's important to make sure that your prep work um, in the beginning is, is, is awesome so that it can give you that finish that, that we're all looking for. So, yeah. I agree. Okay. I agree. So how do you, how, what, what are your thoughts on that? Okay. So the first thing when it comes to prepping hair, in my opinion, is the feel of the hair. A lot of times when, when um, you're dealing with a head of hair, and I like to kind of associate it with fabric. Okay, so there's things that is going to actually help you be able to get more control of the hair. Okay, and one being the the softness of the hair. So a lot of times I like to divide it into three categories, and it's um, in, in as far as hair being a fabric, and it's silk, cotton, and wool. Okay, so so the best yes, and 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 maybe you've heard this in the past, but I just kind of want to reiterated how important it is in my opinion to get the hair as close to a cotton feel especially if you're going to be working with updos and braids and things like that you want to make sure that you get that hair to that to that middle ground to that cotton feel because if it's too silky you're not going to have this control of the hair nine times out of ten it's going to slip out yeah. And if it's too hard or harsh, again, you're not, it's going to be too hard for you to handle the hair. The hair is going to look drier. It's going to look brittle and it's just not going to look as polished. So in order to get it to that, that cotton feel, if the hair is really silky, you want to use a product that is going to um, build the hair up. So maybe a medium hold, um, either a hairspray, a, a medium hold mousse in the hair, you know, you just definitely want to get it to that to that level. And if the hair is too too dry, if it's too uh, coarse in the beginning, then you, you you want to bring it down to that cotton feel. So I would use something maybe like a, a serum based product, a, a hair gloss, or some sort of like um, polishing, yeah, something polishing that's going to bring it yeah. down to that. So that I really just wanted to reiterate that um, before we jump into it and. Some of the products that I recommend are going to be like your paces, excuse me, your your pace, as well as um, your medium hold hairspray. So I'm gonna gonna introduce Miss. Let's see, here she is. Bring this down a bit. Can you guys? I hope oh, the lighting. Great. That looks great. Can we all see that? Okay. That, that looks great, Ajwa. All right, so she's actually been already pre-prepped. I just went in and I used a little bit of mousse to, to bring it to that cotton feel, okay? And then I worked a little bit, I cocktailed it with um, some Beyond Body, which is kind of like a medium hold uh, thermal protection spray. So it's really going to help, help uh, give control of the hair, okay? So now the first thing we want to do is we want to decide on... Um, how the size of the braid, okay? So if you're working with hair that is that has a, um, a high density, uh, like a, a thicker head of hair, then you want to really just decide on what size of the ponytail you want. If the hair is, if the hair is thinner, you're going to obviously take a bigger section. If the hair is, is really thick, then you may not need to take as, as much of a section. So we want to start with an elastic because the ponytail that we are going to create on top is actually going to be the base for for the actual infinity braid. Yeah. So, okay. So on blonde hair, um, I like to use a, an invisible um, an invisible elastic band. So I'm just going to turn her around and show you guys where I'm actually going to section this off at the top. Yeah, I love her shirt. <laughs> oh, she actually borrowed it from me. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Thank um, you. Is on here. Hi, hon, from Australia. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> if you guys have any, if I'm moving too fast, feel free to stop me because okay. I, I have the tendency to ramble. <laughs> okay, so we want to, um, so using a rat tail comb or just, or even your fingers if you want. Um, okay. I, I, you want to go through and make, um, hang on one second. Oh, I didn't know I was getting a phone call on the other line. Okay. <laughs> so we want to go through and we want to create, we want to section this out. And I like to go from the arch of the brow onto the other side. So I'm going to create kind of like a horseshoe section. Okay. 
around. So we're going to work this all the way around to the other side. Okay. So we're going to do from the point of reference of like this area right here. And do yes. A two section. On each side. Yes. And I like to take it to just, just below the crown um, or right on top of the crown. And again, it really just determines on the density of the hair will, will tell you exactly um, how much of the section you need to take out. So just know that the, the more hair that you put into this ponytail, the wider the braid and the bigger the braid is gonna be. Because again, this is part of this is part of our foundation. This is part of our base. Okay. Okay. So next, so once you've taken that section, what we want to do is we want to just um in the center, you just want to put it into an elastic. So just go ahead and take that and put it into a ponytail. Okay. And some people like to, once you get it into a ponytail, some people like to cover that elastic band up. So feel free to take a little bit of hair from that ponytail and wrap that around the elastic. If what's you want. your preference uh, when you cover the elastics? What's your favorite way to do it? Because I know there's so many different ways. Okay, so I have there, there are a few different options. The easiest option for me um, would be to take another another elastic, like an uh, invisible one, and then once I get this wrapped around, yeah. okay, so I'm going to take and wrap this around until it's covered. And then what I do is I'll take the tail, I'll hide it in the back, hold on to it, okay? So I'm holding on to it like that, and then I'll take that, that elastic. Uh -huh. I'll, I like to um, close it at the very bottom of the, of the, of the uh, ponytail, okay? So I'm just taking it right underneath at the very bottom, yeah. like so, and then and then I push this up, and then this literally just covers right over it. Yeah, that looks great. So you yeah. don't see it. Can you guys yeah. see that? Looks good. There you go. Okay. So that's kind of my little trick. I know some people will take a bobby pin and, and hide it in the back, and that's that that is another option. Feel free, but that is another should... option. You, that's never worked for me, to be honest with you. I just take um, I take the tail, I wrap it around, and then I lift part of the elastic and feed it through, and then pull it to the back. Nice. It's almost the same thing as yours, which I like. I'm gonna try your way as well because sometimes this will stick out a little bit here. Yes, right. I, I think it, it conceals more, and and if you use an invisible elastic, then it's already pretty much hidden already. So that's already kind of helping you out in that aspect, anyway. So that's why I like to use uh, an invisible um, elastic. All right. So we ready to move on? Yes. Okay. So now that we have our ponytail on top, which is our base. I, this is the part, this is where I'm, I talk about the prep work. I like to go in and I'll, I'll use like a, a detailing cream, and that's actually the name of this product. Um, if you guys are into that, uh, want to know products, I'm using the Applause Detailing Cream. Um, I, love using, I love using this for braids because it helps control flyaways. So if you're, if you're dealing with hair that's heavily layered and you're wanting to do braids, sometimes it's a challenge getting those uh, layers to cooperate. So using a detailing cream just on the surface of the hair will definitely give you more control over that. My go-to right now is by Kenra uh, Platinum, the texturizing taffy. I got turned oh, on nice. by um, Renee, Renee Marie. She uses it in all of her updos, and her updos are just like so clean and shiny, and it smells really good. So I've been trying to use this a lot more to tame. Awesome. Awesome. I love that. I may have to give that a try because I'm such a product junkie. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to try it. There's a lot of people on here that use it. Um, so I'll, um, I'll send it to you. I'll tell you what it is. 
Okay, sounds good. Okay. All right, so, so once we kind of go through and we polish the surface, and another tip, I like to leave a little bit on my hand because when I go through and I'm braiding, sometimes you need like a little go-to to polish the surface. So that's just kind of like helps me out. It's my little assistant. <laughs> I'm going to put that's it right my on. little trick. All right, so now you want to create three uniform sections out of this ponytail, okay? So I just will take my two fingers like so, and I literally will just dive into the center and section out three sections. And just spin a, spin a few seconds just making sure that they're uniform because if not, it's not the braid isn't going to come out consistent. If you have one side with a thicker section versus the other, it's gonna it's gonna show in your finish. So okay. make sure that you have three uniform sections that come out of this ponytail. Got it. Got it. Okay. I clipped. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, the thing when it comes to braiding is you just have to know like once you get the rhythm down, it's so easy, right? So, um, so in this case, we're going to be pulling hair from the sides, and we're going to marry it into the into the center section with the three uniform uh, sections out. So, I don't really like to use a comb. You can if you want, but a comb kind of gets in my way. But I just want to go through and just take out a slice on the side. Okay. So we're going to take out the section on the side. Now, the whole time we're going through this, we want to make sure that, that it's completely uniform every each section we take out. So, so the pattern is going to be under, over, under, over, under. Okay? It'll make a little bit more sense once I go into it. So, so we're gonna, I'm starting on the left. So I'm going to take the section that I sliced out. I'm going to go under the first section. Okay. Okay, on top of, and then go over the middle section. Got it. Under the third section. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Then I'm going to go back over the third section. Yes. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Under the middle section. And we're going to pause at the very first section. Do we keep it separate or do we add it to the first section? You are going to add it to the very first section. Okay, got it. Okay. All right. You guys can see that. Okay. So I'm loving this already because I kind of see where this is going. Okay, so it should it should look something like this. If you guys need me to to uh, lower the mannequin head, just let me know. Can everybody like give me a thumbs up if you can see? Where the stopping point where we're at. Can you guys Got see it. that? Okay, good. All right. Okay, so this is where we're going to stop and we're going to add hair from the right section. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to add hair. Uh, we're going to take the same section, okay, and we're going to slice out some hair on the, on the opposite side, okay. Oh, and then that is going to be the traveling section that goes all around? The traveling section that goes all the way around. The we're going to do this. We're going to do the same exact thing on, on the other side, okay? So now, so now that we have the section on the right, we're going we're gonna to go over the same pattern. So please bring it closer. Okay. All right. Thanks, Sonia. Um, Catherine, yeah. Can you guys see? Let me get out of the way. Let me just uh, lower it, lower the Look. doll head a tiny bit. Okay. Good? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. All righty. We good? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So this is where we're at. Okay. So we're going to take this section on the opposite side. Okay, and we are going to, we're going to go under, Yep. over, under, okay, so we got this section, so I'm going under, over the middle, 
under the third section, back over the third section, under the middle section, and we're going to pause at, at the section that's on, on this side. Can on you guys? The on the left. On the, on the left. Okay, so it should look something like this. We good? Yep, I like that. You like that? Okay. So at this point, we're just going to repeat. And that is simply, that is our pattern. Okay. It's really super so easy. I think, I think at this point, you have to just figure out how you hold all these three strands with one hand. And then how you, you free up another hand to add it and to make that traveling section that goes all the way around. So here's the thing. Once you get through the first two sections, it locks it in place. See, I'm not even, see, I'm not hanging on to these sections anymore because, because this section over here literally has these two strands locked into place. So that, that's going to free up my hand a little bit so that now I can go through and slice out a section on the left side. And then we're going to go back under, over, under, over, under, and you're going to stop at the first section, like so. So I hope this is making sense. So here's here's a tip so that you don't get lost in where you need to be pulling hair from. So wherever the, the tail end, um, wherever you put that into the center or, or into the lap to the end, is going to be the section. This is the direction that you're traveling in. Okay. See how this this is traveling in um, the going to the left. So that means I'm going to be pulling hair and coming to to this side as well. Okay. So so that's a really cool way to to not get lost in your braid because sometimes when you're trying to do the pattern in your head, you get a little lost. So that's a really cool trick. So I'm going under, over, back under, and back over. Yep. Under the middle, and we're going to stop at the, the opposite side. And then okay. I think the trick or something that you also need to keep in mind is how to keep that braid tight. And I think yes. by pulling up on those strands, it pushes that braid up to keep it tight. Yes, so tension is very key. So you wanna make sure that your fingers are literally like, like your knuckles should be touching her scalp. Yeah, okay. So your, your knuckles should literally be touching her scalp so that you can keep that section tight. And always remember, yes, that's a very, very um, good tip to pull, pull these sections together so that it's going to keep it nice and snug. So you, you always maintain control over, over that braid or over your section. Okay. So, all right. So moving, moving on, we're, we're again, we're just pulling from each side. I'm working on the left side and I'm going under. Remember, you're always going to go under the first section and yeah. over the middle section. Over the middle. And under. Under. So what I like about it is you don't have to hold all the strands at once. Once you take that and go over and under, you can literally let go of the first section because it's secure with the previous uh, and Exactly. It's locked in place. Once you get past the first uh, two rows or two sections, it, it begins to lock in place. So it's going to free up your hands so that you're not, you don't have those like planning hands where you're not able to continue to, okay. to work. So, so can mine's forming. I do know, I always like to make mistakes because then I learn from my mistakes. My first section wasn't as tight, so it's kind of falling down a little bit. So that means that next time when I practice this, I need to make sure that that first section, my knuckles stay close to the head. So see, look, Ajwa. Yes. 
It's a little yes. bit down. Is that, is that how it's supposed to look on that first section? On that first section, you want it to be a little bit snug. I actually yeah. did the same thing. Okay. So that's a really, yes, absolutely. So once you really um, get this down, once you get the pattern down, you want to make sure that you're pulling and you're getting that nice amount of tension so that you don't get that buffling in, in that loop in that loop section. Yeah, this can go a little tighter. Unless at the end, you wanna make it much more boho and then you can just kind of pull it apart. <laughs> exactly, which I have done before. So yeah, you can actually, can totally like customize this and you can even do like a half up, half down. You know, you can, you don't yeah, have to pull it over. Up, you guys, You're, I'm gonna start throwing this look into my alternate, uh, alternative bridal half up braids <laughs> that I teach. I love that. That is so cool. I was just thinking the same thing. I'm like, ooh, this could be a half up, half down look. Yeah, or an accent. <laughs> like a little small tiny, like, in, in, you know, like if you want to do a little flower on the side, you can just do a little crazy, little, little infinity braid on the side. Okay, I love this. So are we getting it? Do we have any questions? Yeah, how how are you guys doing? I'm gonna like hold this and check. I'm gonna like play, pretend I'm playing Twister here. <laughs> Very good. Annie loves it. Cool. You guys get, are you guys following along? It actually is um it's a super cool look and it's really not that difficult at all. And what makes it easier is once you start to get the lines. Oh, here's Sandy. Hey hun. Um, Sandy does this look as well. She um, she does this look beautifully as well. I just joined. Oh, awesome. I cannot want to see the full version. Yes, it's so good. This is so good. Yes. Awesome. Hey, Ellie. Um, what I love about this is once you start to get the braid secure, you can actually let go of the strands and then really yeah. focus on keeping the 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 strand that you're actually making the infinity braid, you can focus on that, making, keeping that tight. Yes. And then another thing that I like to do sometimes is I'll go through and I will, I will like either curl or crimp the hair and that gives it a different, that gives it a different look too. So if you like curl the hair um, and then you go through after you're done and you, deconstruct it and make it more of a boho look. It just really like plumps it up and it gives it more of like a whimsical feel to it. Um, and it's really, really, really cool. Like the, the outcome that it's just like, how in the world did you, like, how did you do that? <laughs> I know. I love, I love creating something. I mean, with braiding, it's really just getting the rhythm down and then repeating the rhythm. But, yes. Um, I love when these braids look so incredibly intricate and you're completely lost in how it started. But when you break it down, you're like, okay. And, uh, oh my gosh, it's so easy. <laughs> it's so simple and easy. And yeah, imagine if you took like some micro crimpers to it and yeah. you crimped the whole head and then you did this braid, what that would look like, you know? Yep. So I like to just get real creative with it. I know. I invite everyone to go to your page. It's Hershey Mason. Yes. And check out your looks and then go down further and look at the looks that you did. It was an editorial look. It was like a 70s, um, 70s looks that you created. And oh, they're so beautiful. So, so cool looking. Thank okay. you. Do All you right, miss so the hair shows? Uh, like nobody's business. <laughs> I know. I was telling. I, I was telling a friend of mine. I'm like, oh my gosh, I am just. I'm not used to being in Texas. This <laughs> I agree. We were talking about how much we traveled last year. Yeah, like it's. I don't know. I'm just. I try not to get too sad. Yeah. <laughs> through it together that's why we're doing this virtually yeah um that's why i've dedicated you know most of every monday to teaching education getting to know our community 
Uh, I can't, I'm blown away the talent that's here. Yes. So it just creates other opportunities for us to connect. I agree. I agree. And I think that through this time, it's definitely created more of kind of like a bond between, you know, us and the hair industry. You know, we're linking up more and just getting more involved in the community. And at the end of the day, that's really what it's about. That's you know? what it's about. I agree. Oh, my gosh. I so am obsessed with this. How are you? How is it coming along? Yes! It looks so good, Angela. Look at you, girl. <laughs> I can't wait for everyone to see. Um, I want if anybody who's following along, if you can give us a thumbs up. I just want to yeah. see if you're following along because when you're done today or after you've watched this video, if you can recreate this look and then um, tag Hershey Mason and be on the ponytail in your stories, you know I love to feature your looks. Please. You tag us in the stories. Um, and it's really actually, this is, it's just so refreshing. I love braiding so much. Yes. It's so refreshing to learn something. Learn something new. Okay. So I finished. Are you done? Oh, she beat me. <laughs> well, I just went to the nape of the neck because I thought it'd be cool if yes. uh, that this could be like, you can make this like really textured. So yes. it's just like a super cool um, ponytail look. Yes. And you know, once you get this, when, once you get this down, it literally takes like less than five minutes to do, you know? <laughs> and again, you know, all my bridal stylists out there that are like, that have taken my alternative bridal half up braid class. Um, uh huh. This is something too that you could do. You could just stop it right here and then put yes. elastics on the on the different poles to keep it secure and then do the curling that we talked about in class. So this again becomes a super cool look, a super cool alternative braid that yes. you could showcase um and just like I'm trying to ignite like new excitement into doing bridal parties um with half mm -hmm. up half down looks and throwing in some super cool um alternative braids and you would think that they're advanced but really if you look at it it's just practicing it a little bit and you can totally get it down absolutely just like this absolutely. one like this one you look at it Ajwa, and you're like oh my gosh how in the heck did you do that but <laughs> just by following how you do it you're like okay you, you can totally get it down practice and then yes incorporate it into your looks that you do yeah, it's it's literally just, you know, all about the rhythm. It's just all about that braiding rhythm. Oh, and I love it. Yay. I'm going to have to, like, take this down and do it again just because I want to start the – I want to pay attention to keeping this section tight at the top. And yes. I, you know I am so posting this on my page. Of <laughs> my page. <laughs> so on page. Yes. So much fun. Yes. Okay, let's see. I've got one more. Okay, if, uh, while you finish up, I'm going to see what questions we have here, if anyone has any questions. Perfect. Cool. We got we got Vic and Carrie and Paige and Sonia, uh, Braid by Beck, Jessica, Joe. We all we've got all these awesome stylists that are doing it. Um, and uh, post to your stories and tag us so we can repost them to our stories. Um, because it's so I love learning a new braid. It literally makes me happy, happy, happy. You know, I don't think we have uh, that many questions. My only question is, how would how do you tie off your braids at the end? Okay, so what I like to do is I will go through and once I put it into that elastic, I just put it into a, an elastic and I take like a bigger section of okay. here and I just, I like to cover it up with the elastic and then I'll do the same exact thing I did on top. Okay. To tie it off. Yeah. 
what I've been doing on my on some of my braids, and this is great. This is why we share and we come together. Is I will um, individually tie off each little uh, ponytail here, and that kind of keeps it also wide at the bottom. Oh, nice. Yes. You want to put an elastic here, a little elastic here, and an elastic here. Right, to keep it wide. So, yeah, so there's so many different ways. Yeah. You yeah. Can, you can continue that, absolutely. Keep it wide. Um, do it that way. I've done it your way before with my infinity braids. Totally. Let's see. I'm going to try this on my model Friday. Awesome, Sonia. Yay! Sonia, you Sandy approves. <laughs> She's got awesome. uh, this look on her page as well, which um, you have to take a moment and check out Sandy Monzon's page. I hope I'm pronouncing your your name last name right, Sandy. But it literally like sucks you in. And you just keep on scrolling down because the braids that Sandy does are mind blowing. Awesome, Christy. Awesome. Going through and just detailing it a little yes. bit. So even oh. with, uh, depending on your finished look, like you can come and pull out all this size, create a lot more texture. And really, um, I think with the amount of texture that you pull out, determines yes. on what type of finished look you want to do. If you want to make it a little bit more boho and undone. You can uh, really pull this apart and just mm -hmm. have fun. I was teaching in my class on practicing how to pull out um, hair, get used to just how far you should go, how far you should push it, and yeah. uh, really playing around with how undone you can make it. I feel sometimes on Instagram, the more undone it looks at times the more people love it. So yes. uh, doll heads and everything, this is the time where you get to push that envelope and really see how undone you can make it. Um, yes. And just play around with, with that technique. That is really, the detailing of it is really the funnest part as well. Yeah, so, you, yeah, so don't be afraid to, you know, get your hands in it. Sorry, I'm on my hand. I'm, I'm on my That's knees. Okay. <laughs> I've done that so many times where I'm like, like on my knees here just to get the right camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm on, I'm on my knees for you guys. Okay. I know. <laughs> I, you got to get the right angle. <laughs> on the right angle. Uh, I want you guys to, to get this. So, you know, again, you can go through, you can leave it straight. I, I tend to like to, you know, add a little bit of texture. Totally. With them. Using the Prima Iron by Babyless Pro. Give a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of weight to it. Nothing too much, because I like to keep it just a little, a little undone, a little carefree. I love it. And you got your Babyliss flat iron? Let's see. Okay. And then, as a finish, I like to just kind of use a little bit of chai spray. And I'll just kind of manipulate it. Just kind of pinch and pull. Yeah. Pull sections up just to expand it without disturbing the, the pattern or the texture too much. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> not yes, not on here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> there is never too much texture on here. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love this. So, this I swear you did a great job, Angela. Look at you. I, I told you I have a soft spot for infinity braids. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> I love, 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 love them. That's kind of like was probably my first advanced braid that I learned was the Dutch infinity. Um, and then from there, forget it. I was like, I was hooked, like, and sinker. I love, love braiding. It's just so challenging to teach braiding. I know, and braids, it's kind of one of the most challenging things, I think, just because, like, 
it looks like you said it looks difficult but once you kind of get the, the pattern down again learning the rhythm yeah. once you got that rhythm locked in your brain yeah i love it the sky is the limit so this is that the side good. <laughs> so good yes I know. I'm obsessed. I'm telling you. It's so good. I can't wait to do I'm out. I'm going to take this down and I'm going to do it again literally and I'm going to post it. Awesome. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know. All righty. I can't wait to do so, it. Does Jocelyn. anybody have any more questions? <laughs> I think they're good. I, you know, honestly, it's like, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so amazing. Can't wait to do it. This is so cool. I can't wait to try this. I know. So don't forget, like anybody that's trying it or is going to watch this, this will be saved. I have to do mine again. The top is too loose. <laughs> I'm right there with you back. I, I'm going to take mine down and do it again. But now, like, I understand what I have to, like, concentrate and pay attention to because I know I want it to look a little differently. But um, again, tag us in your stories. Um, Hershey Mason at Hershey Mason and beyond the ponytail. We can't wait to like repost them. Um, thank you, Sonia. Uh, right by back. Yes. Ajwa, that was so much fun. I am. Yay. So we got to do this again. We are totally. Oh, thank you, Hershey. That's perfect on there. You're so good at that. <laughs> I always have. I never do that. And I really should like put it awesome. on there. Um, if you haven't, if you didn't watch the beginning or you, um, or you just came on halfway, I always save them as an IGTV so you can watch them at your leisure anytime or go back and practice. Um, but I can't wait to see your everyone's creations. Um, so tag us and thank you, Ajwa, for your time. It was such a pleasure meeting you. I totally enjoyed our thank conversation you. the other day. And uh, we are totally going to do this again. So we're going to invite you to come back on. Awesome. Thank you. So All right. Much. Thank you guys. So much. All right. Well, you have a you have an awesome Monday, and I will talk to you super soon. Okay. So Sounds much. good. Bye bye now. I love it. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun, you guys. I'm obsessed with this new braid. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna recreate it. I'm gonna post it to Angela Catanio hair. And then, you know, I've got to try it as a half up, half down. So basically what I would do is I would stop it here, tie it off and see how that looks. And then I'm going to post about that in stories. So um, I might add this to my alternative bridal half up braids that I'm teaching. I'm doing an either one-on-one -on -one or group sessions. The group session will be announced soon. I'm going to try to get another one going for November, it's going to be a small intimate group, or if you just want a one on one, let me know. And we've got that going. We're going to be launching that super soon. And um, you guys enjoy. Have fun. Um, and yes, good. So good. Love to see her again. I know she's, she's a pro. She does this. She's an educator, platform educator. So she knows what she's doing. Um, and I'm just thankful that she was able to come on and share some time with us and show us how to do this braid. Um, again, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on Monday. You know, I love my virtual one-on-ones. I love saying hi to you. Um, and I love seeing your work. So if you have any questions, reach out to both of us and don't forget to tag us and we're going to repost all your recreations and I will see you guys soon. I think next week, next Monday, I'm not going to do a live. Um, I am going to take next Monday off. But after that, we'll be back on track. And we've got some exciting artists lined up, some that you know really well. Um, and um, so I'm really excited to let you guys know who's coming on and teaching some looks. So um, have a great Monday. Have a great week. If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to DM me. I would love to connect and um, answer any questions that you have. So with that, I will say goodbye. And I will see you guys all super soon. All right. Take care, everybody.